Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Miss Samantha, with my Christian Mommy Grammy Gaming channel. And today is Friday, and that means I get to do a reading your comments section. I love Fridays. I love reading your comments. I like having a conversation with you guys. Like we get to connect on a different level. And I get to tell you thank you and how much I appreciate you for watching my videos and leaving comments to begin with so that I can make a reading your comments video. Yeah, <laughs> thanks guys. I appreciate it. If this is your first time here visiting my little YouTube home, pretty please consider subscribing. I make four or five videos a week and I always have new stuff coming out. And definitely remember to like and leave a comment so I can make a video next week on reading your comments. <laughs> Thanks guys. Ah, so this week I managed to plug my mic in every single day. Nothing crashed and nothing went wrong. I had a gold star week. Yay, Miss Samantha. Ah, I did technology. It's wonderful. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of gold stars, today uh, my county the county I live in, starts school for the public school kids. So they get to go back and start their wonderful school career again. Um, it's the 5th of August. That seems a little early to me. I don't mean to be discouraging, but way, way back in the day, you little whip, whippersnappers, we didn't start school until after Labor Day. That, uh, that seems more reasonable to me. Uh, being a homeschooler family, we get to start later, as long as it's uh, well, as long as we do 180 days, just like you guys, we can start whenever we want. In the school year, we're we will be starting Monday, August 22nd. My video schedule is probably going to change after we start homeschool, because unlike normal public schools, when the kids start schooling, I actually have a lot less time during the day because we're doing classes, I'm grading papers, um, you know, I'm going over work. So I'll probably have, I have to adjust my schedule. I still should be three or four videos a week though, because I'm going to start streaming. Ah, and that leads right into streaming. Tomorrow I'm going to do my very first live stream. I'll be live streaming over YouTube. I've never done this successfully before. I tried it once with my son's laptop and I, it just didn't work out. And I don't even think it was my normal technology problem. I think his laptop just wasn't beefy enough to do it. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Saturday, August the 6th, I am going to do a live stream. I, uh, I would like it very much if you, you guys would drop by and give me some encouragement. Because I'm kind of nervous about this. Y'all come hold my hand. Yeek! Me and technology, you know, I need all the help I can get. So, woohoo, here we go. <laughs> now onto our first comment. It's from Trudy Wright. She says, great video, Samantha. Would be great to see live streams, of course. Um, for me, Minecraft. I asked people, I think it's last reading your comments, to vote for what you would like me to live stream when I live stream tomorrow. And four people, said Minecraft and there was a uh, another another four gardenscapes and four the zombie oh plants versus zombies but uh, it looks like Minecraft so I will be streaming Minecraft in some form or fashion tomorrow I think it's gonna be off of my personal server because I want to get some stuff done and I I think I hear a zombie a uh, zombie dungeon down in my mind, so I want to go look for that. Uh, whew, face zombies live. Woo! I'm excited. <laughs> ah, the next comment is from Kokam. Kokam. I gotta learn how to pronounce my subscribers' names. 213. Good vid, Miss Samantha. I like the way you communicate to us. You're so kind. You're like my mom. Now, that is a huge compliment for me. Thank you, Kokum213. I appreciate that. Um, I am a mom, and it's important that I convey momdom. If that, I'm not sure that's a word, but thank you so much for that sweet, sweet comment. Penguin Casserole writes, <laughs> well, first off, Penguin Casserole has a uh, papyrus as his thumbnail. I love papyrus. 
He's wonderful. <laughs> but he writes, I understand why this game... Oh, we're talking about Geometry Dash, which I haven't made another video of. I need to do that. Uh, it's on my to-do list. He writes, I understand why this game is hard for you. It was pretty hard for me, but I eventually got used to it. I got introduced to your channel by Super Gaming Nerd. Thank you, Super Gaming Nerd. He's a pretty cool guy. As you can probably tell, he is a friend of mine. I am also in need of more subscribers. He's uh, advertising, but that's okay. Um, and maybe you could subscribe if you want to. Maybe you could give me some advice for starting some gaming videos. If you could help, that would be amazing. And as always, keep up the good work. Now, I didn't have any good advice about gaming videos for Penguin Casserole. What I had for him was for YouTube. You just keep making videos consistently and do the best you can. And, you know, put the, put the best amount of work you can into it. Because you get out of things what you put in. So you just be consistent and work hard and it your subscribers will come. They'll recognize quality and dedication and they'll come. It won't be overnight. Nothing's overnight. But uh, yeah, you just keep it up, Penguin Casserole. Thank you for the comment. I really appreciate that. The next comment is from Blue Devil Gaming. Now, first off, I got a comment on this thumbnail. It's an eyeball, <laughs> I think. I think it's an eyeball. It looks like an eyeball wearing headphones. So, great. It, well, it's, it catches your eye. It's memorable. So that's a good that's a good thing in a thumbnail. And he says, er, whoa, whoa, what is this adult which plays games? Mind blown. <laughs> I get I get that sort of comment a lot. Why are you an adult lady playing video games for YouTube? I told him there's more of us than you think. The adults are coming to take over YouTube. You just be careful. Watch your back, man. <laughs> I really appreciated that comment too. Thank you, Blue Devil Gaming. The next comment is a serious question. It's from Aaron the Red Panda YT. He he writes, Can you read and answer this question on video? Here it is. What do you do when your friend is getting bullied? Thanks a lot, because one of my friends is getting bullied a lot. Someone said to unsubscribe from him, and he lost like 60 subs, and, in, and still gets tons of hate. For me, I like to be nice, but when people are mean to my friends, I get super mad. I will call the garbage and say, get, uh, get put of here. I'm not sure what that means. Also, is it okay to say hate on me instead of my friend? Answer that one too. Okay, well this is a it's a big question and I said yes I can answer that and I will do it on video. Um, I started doing research. Actually, I prayed about this before I answered because this is a serious question. And I was doing research online and there is an excellent website called stopbullying.gov. It has a lot of good information. And it has, well, the definition, I didn't realize there was an official definition, but there is. I'm going to read that to you now. Cyberbullying is bullying that takes place using electronic technology. Electronic technology includes device and equipment such as cell phones, computers, tablets, as well as communication tools, including social media sites, text messages, chat, and websites. So I don't know everything that's happening with Aaron the Red Panda's friend. Apparently words were said and feelings got hurt and then there were angry retorts made now bullying is bad sometimes when someone's mean to someone else that's not necessarily bullying bullying but they should be kind everyone should be kind and i know this is the internet and that's just not going to happen but we are responsible for our own actions what someone else does might be wrong, but we can only do the best we can. Um, so, because of who I am, <laughs> this is how I deal with uh, this sort of problem. 
I take care of it biblically. Biblically, I can't even say it. Wow. Proverbs 17, 14 says, The beginning of strife, as in when one letteth out water, therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. What that means is when, uh, when trouble is brewing, like the first time somebody said something mean about your friend, it should have, uh, one way to have handled it was just telling your friend, ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Don't worry about him. And just let it roll. And that person may, may never have come back. Now he might have. I have had some very ugly comments or attempted comments on my channel. In the advanced settings, you can put words that won't get through that'll just go through the uh to the spam folder so you can review or the review folder so you can review the comments if they have you know hateful words mean words cuss words and that way things don't get through to the general comment page that's why you never see anything bad on my comments now i have had a few people try to say some really ugly things on my comment section and it, it was intentional. I mean, they weren't just saying, wow, your channel is terrible because I've had a few of those that I just let roll through, which is fine because that's an opinion. That's okay. Everybody's not going to like what I do, but uh, these are just ugly. I blocked those people. There is a block button on your page. You block them, but you do not say, ha ha, I blocked you because you're a big fat jerk because then they just make a new account. They come through and then you've got a whole feud going. That's what it means by leave off contention. Um, you don't start none, there won't be none. So that's a really hard question. You know, as a mom, I have, uh, I, I automatically go into offensive mode when I think somebody's being mean to my kids. But I got to get the whole story. I got to know both sides. And I try to do that with my kids too, because sometimes they, uh, they said something mean to somebody who was just meaner than them and they couldn't take it and then they ran to me after after the fact and what should have happened is they should have just kept a little more quiet to begin with however you don't mess with my kids <laughs> okay proverbs uh 22 10 cast out the scorner and contention shall go out yea strife and reproach shall cease that's why I block. You cast out the person who's causing you trouble. Don't talk to them. You don't let them through. You just, you just like, they're gone. That way they're not causing you trouble. Um, see, that is such a hard question, Aaron. And about, is it okay to say hate on me instead of my friend? Um, I would recommend saying not anything. So if you just let it die down, it'll just go away. Now, if he loses a couple of subscribers who are just wanting to be hateful, he hasn't lost that much. You know, I'm sure my channel would be growing faster if I let everybody comment because they'd be subscribing cause, so they could say whatever they wanted to say. They're not welcome to say whatever they want to say. They can say, you can criticize me. There was one not too awful long ago who put on my my comments I can't believe this channel exists I answered him I answered it I know right but YouTube has room enough for all sorts of folks and he answered back I guess you're right see I could have got all offended and said something mean back but he was just giving me his opinion he's like wow I can't believe this channel exists because it's an unusual channel we're, we're putting ourselves out there in a public forum. Everybody's not going to like us. And we're not going to like everybody else. We don't have to be mean. We don't have to be mean back to people who are mean to us either. We just let it roll. Just let it roll right off. It'll be okay. Now, I don't, I don't know if that's the best answer. Because there are different situations of bullying. If this person is bullying you in uh, real life also... You need to contact your parents, contact your parents, hopefully you live with your parents, right? You need to tell your mom or dad 
or if it's at school you need to tell your teacher or counselor because if it's a real situation where they they're seeking you out to cause you pain and that means hurting your feelings or offending you also on purpose on a regular basis that needs to be dealt with that is not okay that needs to stop now and if I was there I would do something about it because uh, I do a very stern mom one of my favorite phrases when I tell somebody to do something and they don't answer me it's like yes ma'am goes there so yes I am a mom and I would take care of it that person would stop now Shoo. now I don't know if that's what you were looking for Aaron to Red Panda but you my friend have my support and I hope that was helpful and I get all all the answers to my tough tough questions out of the Bible so I always you know like I always have the links down in the description uh, up to the Bible about how to be 100% sure you can go to heaven when the time comes I am a Bible person I'm a Christian you're gonna get Christian answers maybe with a little side of Samantha on there sorry about that <laughs> oh but anyway thank you so much Aaron that's a great question y'all remember to be kind to one another words hurt that old saying sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me that's a crock I don't know who made that up probably a bully however we don't need to be unkind to people who are unkind it just makes the world a better place if we just leave it be so I hope that was helpful in some form or fashion it's kind of the ram ramblings of Miss Samantha but that's all the ramblings I have <laughs> ah, if you guys found this helpful or entertaining or you liked it for any reason pretty please give me a big thumbs up and if this is your first time visiting, please consider subscribing. I do four or five videos a week. Like I said before, I always have new stuff coming out. Pretty please come visit my live stream tomorrow. And because I am nervous about it. And I want you guys to be there to help me out. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh my goodness. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. All right got pea shooters all in place final wave there goes my zambatar up there in the top right hand corner coming through ah coins oh my